doing a bunch of games for you. The very first game that we're going to play is one called Grand Theft Auto. And how this works is we're going to construct a car right here on stage. And we've got four lovely people, and they are going to get carjacked. Everyone go. Ooh. Ooh. That was good. That was good. You guys are a smart audience. Who is going to steal their car? Well, that's up to you, the audience. We're going to be taking a lot of suggestions tonight, so when I ask for suggestions, just call things out. Um, from this side of the audience, uh, just need a letter of the alphabet. B. B. And another letter? L. L. So, everything that steals the car has to begin with B L. So it could be a burly lumberjack. You'll see how it works. Take it away. Mom, right. Jimmy's touching me. Mom, Jimmy's touching me. Oh my god. <laughs> Just be quiet. Let's play the silent game. How about that? How about that? Okay, I'm the best at the silent game. When do we start? You lost. Oh tell my me, god. No, tell me when we oh start. Oh my god, you guys. It's some bad loot. for something extremely evil today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Let us take over the beaver dam. Oh, yes, the beaver dam. That sounds delightful. Yes. Oh, no. We should also take over Arby's. Oh, my. <laughs> With lizards. Yes, but look, it's some beleaguered lizards. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> over being a lizard. <laughs> It's a bunch of burning locusts! <laughs> uh, it's so hot! <sighs> Let's get two new letters. From this side? W! W and? C. W-C. Oh, the wind feels really nice. <sighs> Now, the bench 
has to be exactly four foot long, three foot high, and one and a half deep. Well, new choice. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, we're gonna start off with a birdhouse. <laughs> okay? Now, the trick of it is, the bird starts out there, and you build the house around it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right, Tess. Oh, oh, see, he's almost flying away there. He's almost flying away. Oh, I didn't realize he was alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a real bird. You'll hear him if you hit him with the drill. New choice. <laughs> yeah, it's a real bird. I mean, he could just puke everywhere if he gets too nervous. New choice. <laughs> yeah, it's a real bird that I have controlled electronically from my pocket. <laughs> yes. Any time that I decide you've gotten too close to the bird, I press this button and it starts chirping Mozart's uh, I decline a knock music. <laughs> New choice. <laughs> it starts chirping uh, the theme from Apocalypse Now. <laughs> And that's when your mother comes down with the spatula. Because she knows she's, you've, been, you've been doing a bad job. Oh, you know, Dad, I've been reading a lot of articles in, in my Highlights magazine. And, and they really say that you, know, you shouldn't use animals in your carpentry. They say it's cruel. Yeah. No choice. They say you shouldn't use animals. They, they say they eventually go wild and attack you. No choice. They say you shouldn't use animals. You, you should use humans that you shrink down. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you've been doing the reading, Jimmy. Yeah. It's, it's peer reviewed. Do you remember your big sister Susie? Oh. There she is. Yes, hello, Susie. Hello. Now, she, now she's my little sister. I uh, know, right? Because she's smaller than me. Yes. <laughs> New choice? Yes. <laughs> Because she's younger than me. Mm -hmm. it, it goes uh, size and time all at once. <laughs> now, that sounds real. Yeah. <laughs> Susie, I'm sorry, but it's for, it's for the family trade. Now, ideally, she rides the bird while you build it. Good choice. Now, ideally, she and the bird fight mano a mano, and whichever one wins decides what you build. New choice. <sighs> Susie! We'll have to organize the entire birdhouse design from your front pocket while the bird dances a tango. <laughs> uh, ah! Wow. You know, Dad. No, shirt pocket, son, shirt pocket. Okay, that, You that, don't want to smother her. Yeah, that's She's so weird. tiny. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was really uncomfortable. Dad, I, I think you've gone mad with power. <laughs> and, and I can't, can't let you do this anymore. New choice. And I want to join you. I'm loving the mad with power. <laughs> Sports, but you're kind of going to see some right now. Because what we're going to play is a little something called Household Olympics. Now this is going to get the best element of sports, right? Where you're hearing the exciting dramatic commentary while you're watching the epicness unfold on the field. Except today, the epic nature that unfolds on the field is going to be something really, really super mundane. So I, what I need here are our two commentators, and then behind me are two competitors. But instead of doing some kind of crazy sports, I need a really everyday, mundane, dull task. Dishes. Dishes. Okay, so here we have Household Olympics of Dishes. Take it away. And welcome back to the 200th <laughs> annual American Dish Competition. It is a real doozy. As always, I am Chip Dooler. <laughs> and I'm Horst and Squeak Clean. Name. Great to see you here again, Carson. Now, uh, tell us about our contestants here. We got Beth here on the left. Yeah, Beth is our newcomer coming in all the way from Mississippi, bringing that power of the river with her. <laughs> Sarah, the uh, veteran on the right, looks a little nervous. He thinks she's uh, not really looking forward to defending the title for the 30th time. That pressure really starts to mount on you. Yeah, well, if you were paying attention to the semifinals last week, she got some soap bubbles in her eye and can't see too straight. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, she brought some goggles, so it won't happen again. <laughs> All right, it looks like the uh, clock is about to strike midnight, as they say. <laughs> but that is when we start the competition. And three, two, one, and they are off. Now, the intensity. Great form coming through from both these contestants. 
We're just gonna have to wait to see which one finally messes up. I'm not sure if Beth has ever seen a dish before. She seems really transfixed by the whole concept of a circular China thing that you eat food off of. Well, you know, it's kind of crazy. We'll just let anyone off the streets that complete in the championship. Here, so uh, we'll see how this gets her. That is true, and Sarah again! The pearls of being beautiful is just looking at her own reflection in all of the dishes. That will be motivation to clean them now so she can see her face better. Uh, looks like Beth, our newcomer, has an idea. Maybe a little epiphany. Oh, looks like she's going in. She's grabbing an egg. I'm not sure what she's looking to do with that, but I can't wait to find out. Yeah, well, as you know, anything you find in the kitchen here is legal during competition. If you remember two years ago, they brought the live chicken and plucked it for the audience to join. I could never forget that. Oh, it looks like Sarah, what a move! She actually picked up dish liquid and poured it into a mug. Is she gonna drink that? Oh, my goodness! She's really circling it up, as you would with a fine wine. Oh, wait a minute. She's gonna toss that. I might actually help Beth. She tosses over a look at dish liquid. Oh no, so many eyes. Sarah's taunting her. Now she knows what it feels like. Folks, let's see that again in ultra slow motion. Let's rewind a little bit. All right, and here it comes again. Let's watch it one more time. Oh, look at the details. Sarah seems seems awfully morally conflicted on that looking on the replay. Actually, she must be having some second thoughts. Oh, you can see the burn right there, just faking back down and under. All right, bring it back to regular speed. Ready, go. Sarah again. Um, looks like she's either gonna drink that dish liquid or throw another cup. She's oddly transfixed with the whole concept of mugs full of liquid. Oh no, not a second time. Oh, Beth is sneaking over. What does Beth have in her pocket? She's pulling something out of her pocket, folks. Oh, Look out. it's a used shiv. Oh, <laughs> oh, and she's driving it into the oh, stomach no. of our champion. I don't think she's going to be able to continue after this one. Yes, the authorities are already on their way. The crowd has left the house. Folks, I would never believe this would be the way we'd end this championship, but I think we're going to have to cut to a commercial break here. Yes, the, our sponsor is Schillinger's Prison. They're going to get another one. <laughs> Call Hyperlink, where we're going to go down the internet rabbit hole with your help. What we're going to do is get a suggestion from you, and then from the scene that's happening on stage, we will shout a new website that you're going to see, totally different from the scene that you just saw. So all I need for anyone is an object that you might find in your house. A brush. A brush. www.brush.com. Whatever, you know. You can say whatever you want. It's not going to bother me. You're lame, and you like to eat cheese. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Didn't affect me. Didn't affect my confidence. Still feeling good. You like Humberti. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. Didn't work. Still feeling great. Still feeling confident. You love cheddar. <laughs> You love it! Alright, let's get this you vegan club it. started. Vegan club started, everyone. <laughs> Are you hazing the new members? <laughs> Are you hazing? No! Vegan club is supposed to be inclusive. Inclusive.com! Are you really? Guys, we doing this or? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Boom! WTF.UK! Smithers. Okay, how long have you been my butler? Oh, I believe it is 15 years to the day. Yes, yes. Um, I had a look at your cell phone yesterday. This is about the cookies. Yes, Smithers, it is about the cookies. I specifically said, Smithers, WTF, where are the cookies? And you said, sir, I haven't a clue. And then yesterday on your cellular telephone, Hang on, somebody's at the incredibly close door. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Good day, sir. Right, sir, so I've uh, just had a ring from the neighbours, uh, next window over. Mm. <clears throat> they say you haven't been using the word biscuits as we're all supposed to use in this country here, sir. No. <laughs> I'm here to register a formal complaint of what the fuck. <laughs> Oh no, it seems like they discovered my secret. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's only one A in uh, this closet, so uh, unless you have a proper excuse or one of you is a yank, you'll have to come with me. Uh, pardon me for a moment, pardon me. Oh, oh sorry. David Smithers, we've been able to pass for the last 15 years. I know. Now you start texting about cookies and things like that. Well, they are so excited. It was a great recipe. The oh. smells, I got overwhelmed. The <laughs> smells are overwhelmed at top. <laughs> it's probably just the shit. And <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've got one more game for you tonight. It's called Blitzkrieg. It is a guessing game, so I gotta send my guessers out into the cold. That'll be fun. So on the count of three, everybody say bye guys. One, two, three. Bye guys! Alrighty, now we uh, need some suggestions for stories that they're gonna have to guess what they are in. So from over here, can we get a uh, blockbuster movie? The Hateful Eight. All right, The Hateful Eight. Oh my God. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and from over here, can we get more classic movie like Gone with the Wind or Casablanca. Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane. All right, back over here, a uh, novel that you read in school. Kill a Mockingbird. T.K. a Mockingbird. And over here, a bestseller novel. Twilight Eclipse. <laughs> Twilight Eclipse, specific, excellent. And we're here, over here again for a mythological story. The Bible. <laughs> Like the Bible. The boy who cried wolf. The boy who cried wolf. Alrighty. <laughs> and can we get an animated cartoon series? Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. This guy's just crushing the suggestions. You guys got to step it up. And over here, a uh, print cartoon from a newspaper or a book. Doom Circus. Uh, uh, uh. Doomsbury was more emphatically said, so we're going with <laughs> that. Alright, so uh, what's going to happen, we're going to bring our guesters back in and they're going to have to um, guess the story they're in, but the people helping them can only convey these stories through mime and gibberish. They can't use any loan language. Alright, so on the count of three, just say, come back in, guys. One, two, three. Come back in, guys! Let's all clap for them. Yay, the back in Already, take it away. What blockbuster movie are you, are you in? 
Goodfellas? <laughs> that is incorrect. Sarah, can you steal? Oh my god, I was guessing Goodfellas. Uh, <laughs> our face. No, it was the Hateful Eight. Uh, right. Game two. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. 